Junior fans, Tyler Davy here alongside head coach Garrett Strode coming off a perfect opening weekend for Elite and Premier. Four games, four wins, a lot of scoring. Coach, what were some of your biggest takeaways from this weekend? Well, before we get into this, welcome back. Good nice to, to be do back. Nice to stall talk again after a year off. And I First time in two years. And I see you follow Tom Brady down. Yes, exactly. I that's, know that's exactly why you came down. Hey, Cam Newton's still the guy. And what was your question again? <laughs> <laughs> biggest takeaways from the opening weekend, but thank you very much for welcoming me back. Uh, you know, it was, uh, it was a good weekend for us. I, we played well. Um, you know, with a lot of returners, uh, you know, just to get it, you know, we're way ahead of where we normally are at this time of the year. And we're, because we usually got a lot of stuff that we got to get in, but a lot of these guys were just able to, you know, kind of fit in and, and kind of follow the lead of the guys that return. So with both teams having a good core back, it made a big difference. And it's not really a usual weekend. You got to see two separate teams this weekend, the Junior Blades and the Florida Eels, two teams you're going to see 10 times this year. How important was it to gauge where you're at with them and see both of them this weekend? Yeah, you know, that we planned that because original schedule, we were supposed to play the showcase this upcoming weekend in Carolina. And and so we wanted to get a couple games in, and, and the three Florida teams got together and decided, well, let's just do where we play each other all once. And so mm -hmm. we all get one game, two games in, but against two different competitions. So that was kind of, that was planned. And, and yeah, I like doing it that way, just kind of getting, seeing both instead of going against one team uh, for the whole weekend. Well, you're going against one team this weekend, the Charleston Colonials coming down. What do you expect from them this weekend? You know, to be honest with you, I, I don't know. I know we had a really good playoff uh, series with them last year. Uh, sounds like they got about 10 guys from their organization on their premier team back, so which is always a big help. So I, I expect them to be very strong. So uh, it's, it should be a pretty good series. You have a lot of returners on your premier team, but two newcomers now, Adam Zimmerman and Colton Sipperly. What do you expect from them? Yeah, we, we uh, picked them both up just in the last couple of days. Uh, and that's going to happen all over the league because uh, with teams uh, folding in the USHL and North American Hockey League, there's going to be a big trickle-down effect. And uh, we just grabbed a couple guys early. But uh, in, in the next four to six weeks, you're going to see a lot of teams picking up guys like that and uh, coming down from a, a Tier 2 level and expect them both to, to do very well. They won't play this weekend, but get them acclimated the next couple of weeks before our next series. And this has been one of the most unprecedented off-seasons for everyone involved, but from you at a coaching perspective and putting together a roster, how challenging have the six months been? Well, to be honest with you, luckily we had a lot of returners. Yeah, exactly. That And, and seriously, uh, there's teams that probably right now are struggling for numbers because of all these other leagues starting late, so the trickle-down effects, you know, six weeks later than normal. But because we had uh, so many returners, uh, to be honest with you, it was one of the easier ones. Junior fans, this is head coach Garrett Strote. Coach, thank you very much. Thank you. Tyler Davey here with Premier Forward, Stanley Lucas. And Stanley, the past six months this offseason has been probably one of the most interesting for everyone, but for you getting drafted by the NCDC South Shore Kings for returning here to Tampa Bay. Take us through that decision. Oh, uh, well, uh, early summer they had called me and said that they showed interest and they ended up drafting me. And with all the crazy stuff with COVID going on, I wanted to make sure that I had a good plan if it fell through. So I signed with Tampa and honestly, I'm really grateful that I did. And you returned to a team here, you guys hit the ground running. I mean, you have 11 of 12 forwards returning, three guys in the back end and Cujo and Net. I mean, how important is that early in the season to have chemistry already with these guys? Oh, it's awesome. Cause while teams are still trying to figure each other out and get their mojo going, we are just picking up right where we left off last year. And then one of the goals we posted, one of the three you scored this weekend, we posted on our Instagram, you and Aaron Frankel, just back and forth, give and go. Take us through that goal. Uh, well, we had gotten the puck out of our zone, and I was dashing down the right side blue line, and the defender kind of had his stick a little far forward, so I tried to put it under his stick. And after that had happened, he went for a hip check on me, which I luckily didn't get two knocked up by mm -hmm. and Frankel crossed with me and I passed it with my backhand to him and honestly I had no clue he was going to pass it back I thought he was going to shoot it but he passed it back and luckily I was able to reach back far enough and get it and put it in the net that's one of the things watching the video it looks like you weren't ready for it, it looks like you almost oh, over skated yeah. but had just enough and it was a perfect weekend for both teams really the only time you faced adversity was going into that third period against the eels yep. trailing 2-1 but you guys come back resilient effort four goals what did that teach you about this group um it, it taught me that everyone is ready to buckle down for those hard games they they love to play in those close games and 
it's going to be a lot of fun this year. Junior fans, that's Premier Forward Stan and Lucas. Stan, thank you very much. Thank you. Junior fans was able to catch Elite Forward Ryan Bahula before practice. Ryan, perfect opening weekend for you guys. But before that, let's talk about this off season. It's been a long six months with everything that's been going on around the world. How was the six months for you? Um, it was honestly quite boring. I was looking forward to the season. I was training hard over the summer, though, getting in shape for the season. So we can be a better team. I can be a better player. Well, you definitely came out of the gates hot. Four goals this weekend, including a hat trick on Saturday. Take us through that game and getting that hat trick. Um, well, we played great both games. I obviously had a couple of goals in the weekend. Uh, lots of good passes from my line mates. Just a great performance from everyone. And you say great performance from everyone. One thing that was apparent in this first week is the scoring depth on this team. All four lines, even guys in the blue line chipping in. How important is that scoring depth on this Very team? Very important. It's certainly a lot better than last season's and gives our team a lot more confidence. And you talked about last season. It ended not the way you guys wanted to, getting upset in the playoffs against the Atlanta Mad Hatters. With how last year ended, is there any added motivation this year? 100%. Yeah, we just don't want that to happen again. Come in. Yep. Junior fans, this is Elite Forward Ryan Bahula. Ryan, thank you very much.